everybody and welcome. It is I, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. And happy Monday, guys. And Monday is our mechanics of songwriting class. And our mechanics of songwriting class is when we take a popular song on Billboard, uh, you know, a number one song or, you know, a, t a top, you know, 20 song on YouTube or uh, on a TikTok playlist. Um, and we listen to it, we break the song down by components, and we literally, you know, take the song apart and figure out why is this a hit song? Like, why is this, you know, even, even sometimes between the same artists, you might have three songs that are in the top 20 on Billboard, and, you know, one song's, um, number three, and the other one's, 22 and then the other one is 43 you know so you know it's the same artist similar kind of tracks but one song is the number one song and the other one's all the way back at you know number 42 so what makes this song better than this song or what makes this song stand out or you know so we that's how we look at these you know mechanics of songwriting um you know we kind of um, you know, take the song apart layer by layer and see what makes it tick and what makes it so catchy, What's what makes it so infectious. You know, the thing about pop music is, you know, um, you know, most pop songs are catchy and short and by the time you love them, they're over. And that's why you're looking for them on the radio. Like when I was a kid and I heard a song that I loved... They didn't play the songs over and over like they do today. Like today, they kind of drive it over your head a little too much. It it, it it turns me off of songs pretty quick. I get tired of them quickly. But when I was a kid, they would play, you know, a song, but you wouldn't hear it the whole rest of the day. You'd have to wait like another day. But like I would sit there and wait and listen for that song to come back on. Um... And you'd be listening all day, so you'd hopefully hear that song again, because maybe you caught it in the middle of the song, or you didn't hear it from the beginning. You wanted to hear it, you know. But today, you know, um, it's really sad because most of the record, uh, most of the radio stations, if people still listen to radio at all, um, they play like 15 songs a day. You'd think that there's only 15 artists out there singing songs, <laughs> There's millions of artists out there, but based on the radio and airplay, you'd think there's like maybe 20. That's it, you know. Like, I've already gone somewhere, and it took me an hour to get there, and by the time I pull into the place I'm at, the first song I heard on the radio is the song that's playing again by the time I get to my destination. So, that shows you how short the, the playlists are on radio. Anyway... There's always a song, though, no matter what, because I listen to Billboard and, you know, they play just little pieces of the choruses through 50 songs or sometimes 100 songs. And for them songs to stand out, to really stand out over all those other songs, that song's got to be pretty good. You know, to me, that's my feeling about it. Like you're listening to the the prime hook of each song for like just a couple seconds. And if that song catches your ear that quickly, then I'll go back and listen. But this is one of these songs. Now, the song I have tonight is a song that I discovered on, again, of all things, TikTok, right? I, I'm finding all these great songs on TikTok. And most of the artists that are coming out today are on TikTok and YouTube. So like, you don't have to like play the clubs and, you know, and, you know, these people are getting offered record deals just based on the, the views of the songs or people are using their songs as background for their own videos on TikTok, things like that. You know, this stuff really is, you know, it's happening. Um, well, anyway, um, the artist of the night is a, a girl, a young girl. Her name is Gail or Taylor Gail Rutherford, but everyone knows her as Gail singer and the song that she does or the, you know the song that's really made her big is a song called a b c d e f u now i don't know if you guys heard this song 
I'm not going to play you the um, the swear word version. I'm going to play the clean version for you guys, but I'm not going to get there yet. So let me give you a little bit about her background. So I'm going to read this to you guys. Uh, Taylor Gale Rutherford, born June 10th, 2004. This girl's a baby. Is an American singer-songwriter. After signing with Atlantic Records, she released the single ABCDEFU in 2021, which is charted worldwide, excuse me, including reaching number one in the United Kingdom and in Ireland. Okay. Um, life and career. Okay. We're just going to delve really short into her background. Gail was born on June 10th, 2004 in Dallas, Texas, United States. She started singing when she was seven and eventually moved to Nashville, Tennessee to pursue a musical career. After releasing several self-produced singles, she was discovered by former American Idol judge and art house music publisher Cara Dioguardi and was signed to Atlantic Records. Okay, so she got a deal before her song came out. I was under the impression it was the other way around. I, I, I'm... I apologize for misreading it. In 2021, Gail released ABCDEFU, her major label debut single with Atlantic. It became viral on TikTok and Spotify. ABCDEFU peaked at number six on the Billboard Hot 100 outside of the United States. Um, it topped the charts in Finland, Germany, Ireland, Norway, Sweden, and the United Kingdom, and the top 10 in Australia, Austria, New Zealand, and Switzerland. Amidst the success of the single, Gail released the song You're Just Horny on January 19th, 2022. Okay, so um, they describe her genre as pop, pop rock, pop punk, and power pop. So she's got like that, you know, it's got a little edginess to it. It's not like hip hop or just like straight pop where it's all synthesizers and and like, uh, you know, reggaeton beats or something like Justin Bieber or something like that. Um it's got more of a grit to it. It's got guitars, it's vocals, it's drums. So it's got more of a, you know, like a, like like it said, like, you know, pop punk, pop rock kind of a thing, which is, I'm really happy that's coming back in. Because I like that stuff. I really do. Um, this song already went platinum. Wow, that's incredible. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know who she recorded it in the studio with. It doesn't say right here on her Wikipedia page. Um, so anyway, um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play you the song in case you haven't heard it. It's a really good song. Um, very creative, catchy. Um, she's got a great voice. The production's really good on this song. I really like the production. So um, without further ado... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to play you A, B, C, D, E, F, U by Gail. Enjoy. You, any mom, any sister, any job, any broke car in the car life. You, any friends that I'll never see again. Everybody but your dog looking off. God. I swear I meant to mean the best when it ended. Even tried to bite my tongue when you start Now you're texting all my friends Asking questions They never even liked you in the first place They did a girl that I hate for the attention She only made it two days with a connection It's like you do anything for my affection You're going all about it in the worst way
just do any job and you broke car and that you call off you and your friends that I'll never see again everybody but your dog you can love golf well there it is guys that is a great song I just think that's such a great song um I love her voice, his beautiful voice. Um, the production's really good. The lyrics are great. I just love the uh, the Craigslist couch thing. It was great. Uh, you know, um, everybody but your dog, you can all F off. You know, I love that. That's funny. Um, you know, uh, yeah, I really thought the song was great. I, I can't wait to see what you guys think about it. Well, guys, that is all the time we have for tonight. I can't wait to see what uh, you think about this song. We'll talk about it on the next Zoom class. Anyway, guys, that is all the time we have. This is your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend Joe CB. Have a wonderful night, and I will see you guys tomorrow at Zoom. All right, peace.